So it has now been many years since the Battle of the Scorpios was like raging on my channel, but a comment brought this topic back into my mind in the last few days. And so I want to thank this person who made this comment on that video. I get similar comments on that video still to this very day. And I just want to say that I made that video before I was an astrologer, but I was already studying astrology, but I wasn't like, you know, doing readings for people. That video, I just randomly made it. There was not a whole lot of planning and I just went with the flow. So I want to kind of address some of the things I said in that video. I know it's been years and a lot of people probably don't care. It was just like a fun video and most people got it. But do you guys remember that this video got another channel, like a big channel at the time I had like a thousand subscribers and that actually, that video was probably what made my channel grow, the Scorpio Battle of Scorpios video because of the commentary that it generated. But this big Scorpio channel made a response to my video and do you guys remember what she said? She said, girl, shut up. And I was just like, no one tells me to shut up. I wanna readdress this. So what I said in that video that people still take issue with is that certain planets are more Scorpio than other planets. And the Scorpio suns were really pissed off after that video. They were just like, how dare you? I have a Scorpio tattoo. I am the most Scorpio. That's, that's a bit of a joke. I have that joke with like a lot of Scorpios about how you're not a real Scorpio if you don't have a Scorpio tattoo. I just find it really funny because I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of Leos have Leo tattoos. And I've even seen some Tauruses with Taurus tattoos. But I just think it's so like cheesy in a cool way. I like cheesy stuff. I, I don't know if you could tell, but I like things that are cheesy and kind of like right on the nose. If you're a Scorpio and you have a Scorpio tattoo, I think that's fucking amazing. So what I said essentially in that video that this gentleman is talking about is that I think Scorpio moons are more Scorpio than Scorpio suns. And let me just please address what I meant. So in astrology, we have the 12 signs, right? The 12 energies that we want to express as people on this planet, right? And certain planets have an easier time in certain signs. So for example, the sun has a really easy time in Leo, in Aries, even in Sagittarius, because it's still a fire sign. Or for example, Mercury has a very easy time in Gemini, but also in the other air signs because Mercury, what it wants to do is pick up information and communicate information. You pick it up and you put it down, right? But it's information based, right? And air signs are connected with information. And so when I say that I find Scorpio moons to be more Scorpio than Scorpio suns, it's, it's exactly what I mean. Scorpio is a water sign, right? So we're talking about the emotional realm, the realm of intuition, love, depth, and sharing of feelings. And when we're talking about the moon, that is the wateriest planet that we have, right? So it is a feminine planet, it is receptive, and so it really takes to the water like a duck to water. So when you have a Scorpio moon, those people are extremely Scorpio. So are Scorpio Venus people. Then you have what if you have a person who's a Scorpio sun, but their moon is in Virgo or their moon is in Sagittarius? They're going to be very different than somebody who has a Scorpio sun and a water moon. So you really, that is all that I meant by that. And I think most people, I think they understood that the video was made in jest, but you know, as people are learning astrology, they come across the video if they're Scorpios and they'll click it and they'll just be like, oh, <laughs> you know, so like a lot of people will take issue with it, but that's all that I meant by that. However, I will say that nobody lives the Scorpio lifestyle as a Scorpio sun because the sun is the things that you want to be known for, right? And if you're a Scorpio sun, you're bad to the bone. And it just depends what house it's in, whether you'll be comfortable with being bad to the bone. Like, and I also say that in jest because you know the song like B -b 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 -bad. <laughs> to the bone like that song to me is very uh scorpio sagittarius and i'm a sagittarius and i have venus and scorpio so that's why i like to use that song for scorpios but you know what i mean if you're a scorpio son you know you get into things that you know they're, they're a bit unsavory you can't talk about them over christmas dinner because like 
Aunt Mary will be offended. But that is just how you roll. That is what it's like being a Scorpio sun. You live by it. You die by it, right? But is that necessarily translated to the emotional realm? Not always. It'll depend on the moon and the Venus. That's all that I meant by that. But in other Scorpio news, have you guys heard of this artist named Moonlight Scorpio? I am obsessed. I don't know what I clicked on Spotify, but I clicked on something that led me to this woman and I'm obsessed. I'm, obs I'm so obsessed that I opened Instagram on my phone so I could follow her. That is how obsessed, I don't follow anybody on Instagram from like my puro astro, I don't even get on Instagram, but I was like so obsessed. She has such amazing music. And if you're a Scorpio and you're watching this video, you need to know that she exists. Like obviously she's famous, but like, if you haven't heard, I'm just here to tell you, if you're already a fan, let me know in the comments so that we can mutually fangirl about this amazing artist. And I love her, she's beautiful. I love her music and her songs and her voice. And I'm just obsessed. Anything that has like Scorpio on it, I'm already a fan, but her name is Moonlight Scorpio. Does that mean she's a Scorpio moon? If any of you know her chart or know where her, I don't have a TikTok, so I'm not gonna like follow her on TikTok. And I'm not that much of a stalker. I'm not that obsessed. Otherwise I would. You know, if, if it was easily Googleable, I would look up her chart. That's what I do when I like somebody. But I digress. If you have any questions about what I just said, if you want to fight me in the comments, if you want to talk about like how actually Scorpio Sun is more, who, guys, who cares? It was all made in jest. And it has now been four years since I made that video. And I just wanted to like readdress it. So when we're talking about Scorpio and we're talking about water, people associate that with love and sex and intimacy, right? And love and sex and intimacy, they are connected to wherever you have Scorpio in your chart. That is true. However, however, how you love and how you feel and how you emotionally connect to others is inextricably, <laughs> inextriper, stripper. But how you love and how you connect and how you relate to others on a deep emotional level, yes, it is connected to the Scorpio in your chart, no matter what, right? But it is also inextricably connected to your moon and your Venus. So like, I'm sorry, but Scorpio Venus is pretty damn freaking Scorpio. And then also in that video, I talked about Scorpio rising and she also mentioned, I don't remember, I don't want to rewatch the video because I might, like my armpits might start to sweat and I might get angry. So I'm not gonna go that deep into the drama. But she took issue with me saying that like Scorpio risings are real Scorpios. Are you kidding me? Have you met a Scorpio rising? Do you understand why there's Scorpio risings? That is the environment that they were born into. So you want to tell me that somebody who was born into a Scorpio world is less Scorpio than somebody who has, say, Scorpio in the fifth house? No, like we all, wherever you have it, if it's a personal planet or it's an angle, that is where your Scorpio operates and it is absolutely valid and you are having a Scorpio experience. And like, it's like the dumbest conversation and fight and the only reason I'm bringing it up is because of this comment. I'm not gonna say the name of the channel, but I just find it like, this is me talking shit. That she's just like, this is the first channel for Scorpios by a real Scorpio. And like, I just find that really funny because I'm just like, were people faking being Scorpios? Do people think I'm faking? I'm not a Scorpio. I just love Scorpios. I just, I'm just a fan. Like, and my, my Venus is in Scorpio. Venus, love, like it's the things that you like and are, I'm a fan of Scorpios. I just, I'm not pretending to be a Scorpio. I'm clearly a Sagittarius. I don't roll like that. I'm just trying to have a good time. Okay. So that's the video. I hope you like it. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every single week. We're back. We're back in business, baby. We are putting out videos every single week. You don't believe me? Watch, watch, every, subscribe, subscribe and check it out. Check out if I put out a video every week. You're gonna see that I'm gonna be on a roll because I've, this is the fourth video I record in this week. So I'm just, I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but like toot toot bitch. Toot, 